is that flexibility means compatibility. And when you have a job that's compatible with your life, there's less friction and um, it, less things causing you to be unable to perform your job at an optimal level. So we want to make sure that work is compatible with your life so that you're not forced to opt out or to have unnecessarily drama in achieving your goals. In fact, the data shows that workers with flexible schedules, man, men and women, are happier, more effective, more productive, and less likely to leave. And that's not surprising. I mean, we ourselves have navigated the challenges of flexibility pre and post work at WBRK, um, and we'd love to share some of those experiences with you today. Yeah, so Anna and I both were in intense corporate environments. Anna was a consultant, I was a Wall Street attorney, and I worked on a couple of 80% schedules that actually were not very effective. And that's because the company didn't strategically understand why they were helping me be on that schedule to begin with. Um, one of the ways that I was on a flexible schedule is that when my second child was born, he was actually born with special needs. And during the first year of his life, we were in a pretty perilous period of understanding what his health issues really were. It was very unknown to us. And so what we needed to do was see a different specialist. I actually worked with 13 different specialists, and I had to be beholden to their schedules in terms of when we had availability to see my son. So it meant that I needed to take one day off a week, but I couldn't predict what that day would be because it would be in the control of the doctors. Um, ultimately, remaining in that corporate environment wasn't sustainable for my needs because the corporation didn't quite understand how, how flexibility needed to work in order to help me succeed. Now that we're at work, WERK, with a um, structure that everybody on our team understands the benefits of flexibility and most importantly has a definition of what flexibility really is, we're each able to really succeed in our environment and achieve at our optimal and highest levels, um, despite the fact that we work probably fewer hours per day than we did in our corporate environments. What's so interesting is um, you know, comparing and contrasting what flexibility was like for me before. You know, I had challenges as well navigating it. I also tried the 80% schedule and it failed. The flip side is now at WERK, a few weeks ago, I had a really difficult situation with a nanny and lost my childcare entirely for a week. And although my son's at school, school gets out at 3.45, and so I had a whole week where I had to leave the office by 3.15 in time to pick him up while I was trying to find a new nanny. You know, as I imagine myself in a previous corporate environment, that would have caused me so much anxiety. I would have been freaking out every day, trying to figure out how I would prove that I was still creating value. Versus at WPRK now, it was very different. I communicated to our team that I would be out that week, you know, in the evening, in the afternoons to pick up my son. It was not a problem at all, and I think communication was a huge part of it, but also the fact that we embraced something called micro-agility, which is the ability to make micro-adjustments on an as-needed basis, knowing that the sort of foreseeable but unpredictable is always going to happen, like me any problems. And that was just such a difference to me, because one of the benefits of flexibility is reducing that ongoing anxiety, that, that thing that when you sit at your desk and you're trying to figure out how you're going to get through your day becomes such a distraction and actually really affects your work product and also, frankly, I think affects you psychologically. I would say that as working mothers, there's really no more dramatic scenario than losing your child care for an entire week. But in our organization, I barely felt the stress that Anna felt after having gone through this. I mean, I felt it a <laughs> <laughs> but no work was dropped. Right. We still managed to achieve all of our goals that week, and we were able to really push the ball forward on a very important project that was going on, you know, ongoing. Um, so when you have the confidence in an organization, you know the definition of flexibility. Everybody understands the benefits of flexibility. You can implement flexibility in a way that creates your opportunity to work optimally uh, and without that anxiety and stress that you might otherwise feel. Thanks for joining us. Thank See you. you all next week.